Hello, this is Douglas Block. Welcome to this week's episode of my audiobook, Words That Heal, Affirmations and Meditations for Daily Living. Words That Heal combines a primer on affirmations with 52 passages or teachings, one for each week of the year. Whether you're searching for a source of inspiration or dealing with a crisis in your life, Words That Heal offers comfort, support, and understanding. I am now making each of these meditations available to you on my YouTube channel. Here is this week's meditation. When you are ready, pick a quiet, comfortable spot in your environment where there are no distractions so that you can take in the message that you hear. I hope you are uplifted by these healing words. Now let's begin. Meditation 43 Service We were put on this earth to serve one another. Despite the prevalence of the what's-in-it-for-me attitude, life offers examples of selfless service. Parents provide for their children. Spouse supports spouse. Friend helps friend. Life is sustained and nurtured through unconditional love and service. But service is not just a one-way process. The more you freely give of yourself, the more you are given to give. Or, as Christ puts it, he who would lose himself for my sake will find himself. Two months before his death, Martin Luther King Jr. stated that the only thing he would have to leave behind was a committed life. Twenty years later, a national holiday commemorates the legacy of a life of service. There is always somebody for you to serve, and someone who is equally eager to assist you. The image of Jacob's ladder wonderfully illustrates the win-win nature of serving. Like the figures on the ladder, when we pull our neighbor upward, we are simultaneously lifted up by the person above us. By helping each other along, we can all reach our spiritual destination together. Take a look at your own life. See yourself serving the planet and its inhabitants. It does not matter how the world regards your contribution. What matters is the motivation behind your service. Smiling at a stranger promotes as much healing as discovering a new vaccine. Affirmations 1. The more I give, the more I am given to give. 2. The more I give away, the more I receive. 3. Everywhere I look, I see opportunities to serve. 4. I give simply for the joy of giving. 5. I wish success and good fortune to everyone I know. Words to consider. No act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Aesop's Fables. This is Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I'm happy to announce that the entire audiobook of Words That Heal is now available on audible.com. You can also find the print book or the ebook at Amazon.com. If you like this uh, video, please give it a like because that's what drives traffic to this channel. You can leave a comment in the comments section or you can email me douglasplock at gmail.com. I also have a new personal website, douglasplock.com, where you can find all of my offerings in the areas of healing and spirituality. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, click on my uh, 
photo, you'll be taken to the subscribe page. And if you click on that little bell to the upper right, you'll be notified every time we do a new video or new live chat. And if you want to support this channel, just click on the Patreon image and you'll be taken to my crowdfunding site. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much for watching.